and it's a cool, foggy Sunday morning, July 15th, and I thought I would show you what it's like when it's foggy here in the morning. I'm in my front yard, and we're walking to the back. There's more passion flower that I have on my front porch. All right, we're heading to the backyard. You just see how thick that fog is. Isn't that something? I love cool foggy mornings. We have nasturtium. It just grows everywhere. And here we are in the backyard. I harvested my garlic yesterday. Yesterday was a sunny, warm day. So I took that opportunity to get some things done in the garden. And one of those things was pulling up the garlic. You know, it's it's not... We don't hard... We hardly ever have sunny mornings or sunny days in Crescent City in the summertime. It's It's mostly foggy. So for drying garlic, I have to be creative. But here's the box where the garlic was that I pulled up and harvested. Over here, in that patch where the pallets were, where the pallet was with the grow bags that uh, became slug infested, I decided to plant herbs in this spot. So I planted some golden oregano. It has a very pretty leaf. An apple mint and savory. And then I don't know if you can see them. There's little dill starts planted in there. And the hummingbirds are feeding. See how my hummingbird feeders are empty in the morning? Every morning we have to fill those up. Let me show you the fog. See how thick that fog is? And to the east of us, we can hear thunder. So there's thunder going on in the mountains, thunder and lightning. All right, I'm gonna take you over and show you what I did with the garlic after pulling it up yesterday. I put it in the greenhouse because in the greenhouse, it'll stay dry because of the fog, the garlic would have gotten damp. And we want to avoid dampness. Let me just give you a, a view of the flowers while I open the greenhouse. All right. So here's my garlic. I have it laid out so it can cure in here for a few days. And I had quite a nice harvest. Some of those heads are really nice and big. The biggest head I got was this one right here. Those, it's huge. I'll show it to you compared to my hand. See? Isn't that big? Oh my gosh. Alright, so it will stay out here in the greenhouse for three or four days. Then I'll, I'll brush the dirt off. You don't want to wash the dirt off. You don't want to get your garlic heads wet. You want them to stay dry so that they cure. So I will just, I will clip the, I will take the, the roots there and I will clip them off and I will brush the dirt off of the garlic. And because this is soft neck, I think I can braid it. I will try. <laughs> and then I'll give you a picture of what that looks like. 
in another video, that is. While I have your attention, I want to talk about how blessed I feel. You know, God has truly blessed my life. He has given me the opportunity to have such a beautiful garden, to be able to provide food for my household, to be able to grow organically and provide clean food to the dinner table. And for that, I am so grateful and I am just truly blessed. And I just honor God for for blessing me like this, for providing this. I don't deserve it. I'm a human being ha that has erred, sinned, gone astray, and done wrong so many times in my life. Yet God loved me enough to bless me. There's hummingbirds sitting all over the cucumber trellis. You see them? Let me try and zoom in. I was watering the garden and a little hummingbird came and hovered above the hose spray. And he just hovered and looked at that water and then eventually he stuck his little body in that water and took a shower, pulled himself out, stuck his body back in. And then he stood above it and he, his little feet were going so fast and he was like paddling the water with his feet. It was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. It's the cutest thing. Oh, it's getting, it's getting brighter. The sun is trying to peek through the clouds there, through the fog. I just focus on those hummingbirds. Yeah, aren't they great? So, I'm a believer. I, I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior and my Lord, and my friend, the lover of my soul. And so, the garden is a great place for me to come and just reflect on the goodness of God, the love that Jesus showed us when he put his life out there for our lives, when he loved us enough to give his life, when he loved the Father enough to do as the Father asked. I'm just, I'm just in awe of how, how much love that is and what a blessing it is uh, to, to be in relationship with God to be in relationship with my Savior, to be able to sit in my garden and reflect on His goodness and His love and the blessings that He has put in my life. And I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. Yeah, I love God. I also want to thank you all for, for watching my videos. I'm new at making videos. My videos are raw and unedited. I'm not as well spoken as some YouTubers, um, but I can grow a garden. And I can cook some food. And I can share that with all of you. And so that's why I do it, even though my videos aren't the best quality and my speaking isn't eloquent. I just want to share with the world how blessed I am and the knowledge God has given me and the abilities that um, I am talented with. Because there are so many people that that want to know how to do these things and they don't know where to start. They don't know if they can do it. And you know, a lot of gardening, a lot of my gardening knowledge just came through trial and error. 
and doing a lot of research and watching a lot of YouTube videos and reading some books and talking to fellow gardeners that were well seasoned and but mostly from trial and error from just doing it and trying it and when something didn't work out right I looked into how to do it differently and did that and now that I am 55 almost 56 years old uh, I'm a well seasoned gardener myself that is able to grow an abundant harvest and be pretty successful at it. Yes, I still have problems and I still mess up. You know, I have to battle slugs on a daily basis. Living uh, next to the redwoods and by the ocean, slugs, um, this is their territory and I have to meet that challenge on a daily basis. But for me, it is worth it. It is worth it to be able to put good, clean, organic food on the table to eat well and eat abundantly. So thank you for uh, stopping by and checking out my foggy morning video. My how-to on garlic curing and watching the beautiful hummingbirds. I hope you have a great week. Bye now.